Right, okay, so this is the third part of the video. Uh, I think before before we start, maybe we should uh, do a little bit of a recap. So let's just look at the map. So we started out in Pewa, over here, and uh, so if you, we found the ball, found, found the device for, uh, for moving it, and manipulated it around some fairly simple puzzles and um, in, and we found well because we were looking for secrets we found these mysterious stone heads which when we walked over them we could hear the whispering of people who used to live live in these places and um, and then we found an elevator which brought us down into the cave where we found a pyramid we went inside and we found mummies, uh, more undead things, and we also found more stone heads, but we found mummies and stone heads. And we found an alternative path, which I had never been on before, uh, involving lots of symbols and arrows and stuff. And, um, and then we and then we took a train ride which brought us to an abandoned village, but it wasn't abandoned because it was also full of mummies. And then we found another unfinished pyramid, which for some reason I called an Ah Tepet. But um, even though I can't pronounce that obviously, I can tell you it means community. I don't know what I was going on about at the end of that last video. I'm sorry. And that's where it finished. So I didn't find all the secrets. Um, yeah, I tried to put titles on the last video explaining where they were, but I uh, didn't succeed in that. So, um, but uh, I'll edit the description of the last video and stick in the um, stick in some explanations of where I should have looked for the secrets. All right. And um, so, yeah, today we move on to Ostok Two, continuing to move into the cave. And we did see these rivers, and um, and sorry for the delay, by the way, in uh, in this video, because you know that median phone I said I used to record the last my voice for the last video. Um, I bricked it. Yeah, yeah, I, I bricked it. Lesson learned: don't mess with a rooted phone in a pub on Friday night. Okay. And with that being said, let's get to the game. Stop two. Yeah, blinky lights. Kind of strange. It's another bit of portal atmosphere, even though we're in a very different place. You know, in portal, there'd be blinky fluorescent lights in the behind the scenes areas. And there's a mummy. Now, let's see what's going on around here. Okay, disabled train. take us away from this place but we don't want to go away from this place until we've explored it that's the mistake I made in the last level yes you see at the end of the train ride I should have walked back along the track and that would have found me my secret my fifth secret Aha! oh yeah uh, in our recap I forgot to mention what the secrets were actually saying in the first level they were all about the the mysterious they giving uh, giving this gift to the people of a certain nation and it improving their minds and then building a new civilization. And then in the second in the second level 
uh, it was dealing with the harsh realities of slavery and uh, basically human nature and imperialism and all those other perennial things. I was about to start building on that, I think, but I was interrupted. Okay, now I'm stuck. Uh, I didn't get all the secrets, but I got enough of them to get the general tone. You may recall, yeah, the first secret said the king of the Tepet nation declared himself the son of Quetzalcoatl, who I think everybody knows is the um, was the king of the gods in Aztec mythology. Now, obviously, this bit of a recap is distracting me from what I'm actually trying to do, because I'm making a pig's ear of it. Ah, here we go. Awitzot. Last night I was seeing in my sleep. I saw the people of the, Te of the Tepet nation. All of them carried light. It was their influence, I realized and I could see it swimming in the halls of the sanctum and beyond it a shape a shape hidden in the forbidden place so pure it blinded me brighter than the sun I awoke shaking cold with fever so yeah um, this thing it influences people's thoughts and yes that's the other thing that was in the last level the people they had trouble considering that maybe the slaves were being influenced by the ball as well when they're just human beings so yeah they they think there's inferior races but here we just heard um, one of the supposedly inferior people um, saying that the ball influenced his dreams um, this the shape he was referring to was the the ball this ball it was hidden in the forbidden place um, I don't know, it all should become clearer as we continue to unlock more secrets. Ah, come on! I don't know, I can never get this right. Okay, I'll take it off. Put it back. Ah, come on! Guessing I should go back again, um, just like I should have in the last level. You see, I, I don't know where. I know where at least one of these secrets is, but I don't know where all of them are. Uh, oh no, we're gonna get we're gonna get thrown down a pit here, aren't we? Yeah, so we can't go back. sense just to swim towards land and then get our bearings. This just looks like another part of a... Oh wait, no, the secret's on the other side. So anyway, yes, this king. Uh, yeah, okay king, I won't come in a minute because I have to go back 
Oh, look, the ball's all excited because it sees him. Okay, I didn't realize that. Yeah, I, I hadn't noticed that the last time. Um, so, uh, but yes, the secret must be up here. Yeah, this looks just like another puzzle. Yeah, here we are. Uh, Temas Caltesi. My boy invented a net for fishing made of coils from fragile metal. I watched him use it in the underground river. He ran a current through the line, shocking many fish. Enough for a hundred to feast. My daughter placed nutrients in a bed of sediment one night. The next morning, trees stood above our hut. We will trade the fruit at the Altepe. <laughs> so yeah, they had... The ball gave them electricity and everything. Electricity at least 300 years before humans discovered it themselves. I don't know, the timeline for this game is kind of vague. Um, uh, I... Yeah, no, I won't, I won't say. Listen, um... At the very at the very end of this let's play, I'll say a few things about the success to this game, which you can just stop listening to if you don't want to be spoiled or whatever. And there's our king still standing there. Uh, he's obviously not the king who declared himself the son of Quetzalcoatl. He's an actual. Um, he's not human. And magnet. Dangerous yokes. And then the king. So yeah, this guy's like the G-Man in Half-Life. Kind of. That's, uh, as far as I know, that's the only time he interferes. But, um... I mean, it's just weird seeing this this guy when we think we're on our own, apart from the mummies. Oh shoot! Right. Okay. Quick. Ah! Yes, you can, you can punt them away. That's the one. That's the one saving grace about mummies. So anyway, the king's gone, uh, and we can, but. We know what this button does because he showed us. There it goes. Killed all the mummies. And what does to. So there's nothing down here. It's just a, a trap to prevent the mummies from coming up. So yeah, it all seems very deliberate, but. Who, who, who made these puzzles and who's responsible for the mummies being where they are? I mean, the king would appear to have something to do with it based on what he just did there. But what we see in the secrets later on would suggest that that's not the case. So, uh, yeah. I guess we're supposed to think he went out that door. But, um, again. Just from normal gameplay, we'll see that's probably not the case. All mm. well, the mummies came from out of, out of those. Yes, yeah, so we can't bring the ball back up. Not sure if this can be opened, probably not. <gasps> and the 
ball's all excited again. He's above us here. Okay, more symbols. Now see, back to normal puzzles now. Not fairly normal. Oh, come on! Oh yeah, so he, he was, he's just using a network of corridors at the moment, is he? We gotta hit that ball button. Uh, not too complicated. He's not if you've done it before. But uh, yeah. So there's a nice little perch for the ball here. And then all we have to do is remember we have a hammer. There we go. This is still blocked off. excited again. Yeah, I know where the next secret is. It's... Yeah, there it is. Um, you can get in it once you've flooded the chamber, I think. Yeah, and flooding the chamber isn't too complicated. Just block the drain pipe. Something else you gotta do too. Oh yeah, it is. It is floating, but slowly. Is it? Ah, let's let's have a look around. Come on. We've got to 
special about here. There's a secret, but the ball didn't get excited about secrets before this. Right, we'll put the ball here. We stand on this button. It's just connected to the ball button. Pull the ball. Oh, and there's the king. Yeah, so that's why the ball was excited. So, like, is he controlling it? Is he, I mean, is he controlling the puzzle? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think he is controlling the puzzle. He couldn't be. No. Now the chamber is getting flooded. And it pulls up the secret. Uh, Chalchu Tlatonal. Okay, let me say that again. Chalchu Tlatonal. I'll listen. You, you know what it says. You can read it. My people come from the wet belt of the savage rock. Under the banner, I lead my men into neighboring villages to find slaves for our allegiance. I used to hunt Masatl, now I hunt men. I have seen the weapons of the Tepet nation. They need not spears or bow. They can burn villages from great distances, make men disappear in a terrible flash. Yep. That's the power of the ball for you. Again, human nature, or at least that's what we're supposed to think, I think. I'm not sure. There must be some sort of commentary on imperialism and all that. Uh, okay. Anyway, we press this to exit. Yeah. See, that turns off the water so when we... And the door is open, so... Get the ball out of here, and chamber defloods, and the wooden bars lower, and we're out. Okay, very good. We found three or four secrets already. Well, self praise is no praise, you might tell me, but I think we're not doing that badly. I'm not doing that badly. And this is the lava bit. It's kind of tricky. So there's something blocking the ball down there. Hit the player button. No, it's not blocking the ball, it's blocking us. And here it is blocking the ball. So hit the ball button. next bit and then push the player button so it's in the next bit wall button then the player button I guess I don't hear any whispering. Mm -hmm. What are those power symbols? The power symbol represents a switch. It's a western... In a toggle switch. It's a modern western invention and yet here they have it. But we shouldn't be surprised at the anachronisms. Oh no. That's where... Where's the ball? Oh, there. Okay, and it is moved. Come on! Yeah. 
No. Bloody serious. You disappear. possible I just don't know how but like it's definitely not possible this way Giving game, all your stuff stays knocked over and everything. Like, it really doesn't look like there's anything around here, but, um. Oh 
Oh boy. And there's the king again. I'm just getting the ball excited. Leading because even when the hammer symbol is gone, you still need to hit it one more time. There's the ball. Roll down. Hit the ball button. We've got the steam. It's out. Okay, so that opened that other door, I guess. Yes, yes, up on the top level there's a secret, which will be the last secret. Excellent. So we knock out the stairs. There we go. So this starts moving around. And control is jump in this game, not crouch. Okay, C is crouch. Ah! Flip it. Okay, no bother. There's no fall damage in this game. Just go back up. No. We are moving around. There's our secret. And that was not the right way to get to it. This guy doesn't jump that high. This guy. Ooh, what's the name of our protagonist? I've heard the name Spebbington thrown around, but I'm not sure if that's a reference to something. Now. 
Tornatio Secret 404 Tornatio The twin tail is complete. I have heard the stories of the Tepec nation reaching beyond the farthest glade, their machines, their wealth, and their power. I have seen chariots led by their own navigation, and I have seen the very ground move by command of a switch. They can wield magic to make structures move without need of rowing hands. It's not magic, it's just technology. Granted, the, the, the ball is magical, and that's what's powering everything, but still, it's, it's just technology, lads. But, yeah, any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. And since the technology was brought by aliens rather than developed in-house, um, yeah, you know, one could be forgiven for, for, for thinking along those lines. Now, we're on the move. We go in this way, I think. And then we jump off, hit the player button, area complete. No fall damage. Very nice. Checkpoint. Checkpoint Charlie. Oh, more lava. Joy. There was lava in Pewa too, just after that. Hard to get secrets. Come on! I was supposed to bring the ball here first, okay. Should that have failed? Come on! You joking? You are. Tell from the way I was talking when I came to it, right? 
said oh joy anyway This is, this is how difficult it is to move a sphere. Like, I'm a physicist, I know the, the horse is a sphere joke, but to be fair, a sphere is a lot harder to get moving where you want it than a horse. Just bear that in mind. No, that should have happened five minutes ago. No, what exactly has that done for me? The area isn't complete at all, I still have to flipping move the ball through this tricky death trap. Yes, I saw him. He wants me to wait. What? What did he say? Oh, yeah, he's doing a glad or something. But if the ball is his, then. Oh dear god, we just fell two kilometers. Anyway. Oh yeah, he wants... He just... He's, he's toying with us. He made us... He made us think. He made us think he was killing us, when in fact... He was just sending us down to this next... This next... Puzzle. It's not much of a puzzle, just a little player button. But, uh... Okay, so that's us talk 2 done. All secrets. Perfectly successful. So, yeah. Next, we'll be moving on to Teot 1. And, um... Saying goodbye to the menu music. Because different music starts playing. The Eternal Moon, I, I like that one. Anyway, but uh, no, that's for that's for the next video. Which hopefully I'll be able to start recording immediately after I stop recording this one. So, that's it. Um, sorry for the delay. And uh, this time I got all the secrets, so I didn't waste your time. Not too much. This video was only three quarters as long as the last one, partly because I'd seen everything before as opposed to us talk one where I had to go along that completely new path. But um, yeah, I don't, I don't think there's anything else to say here. So the, yeah, the secrets this time around they were concentrating on um, how on on the awe of the so supposed lesser nations for for the power that the ball gave to the Tepet nation and of course we had our own awe for that um, that alien guy the, the so called king even though he's different from the human king obviously and the ball got excited whenever it saw him because it belongs to him and yeah we start to know the ball is alive at this point no point in denying it like 
like the companion cube in Portal, except it's probably true. Anyway, so see you next video.